Hello, this is Sandy Carroll from the Berkshire County Board of Realtors, and I am pleased to present you with the 2018 year-end market at a glance market watch report. First, we're going to talk a little bit about our region. We break our sales into three areas, northern, central, and southern Berkshire, and so that's what you'll be hearing about today. And first, we're going to start with single-family residential sales. We had 1,411 sales this year. That's up 3%, and you can see North Berkshire did a great business at 50 15% of single family home sales. Central Berkshire, an increase of 6%. Unfortunately, Southern Berkshire saw a decrease of 8%. Still very solid numbers countywide. And our inventory of homes has been affected this year. 696 homes for sale in the end of the year of 2018. It is a slight decrease, down 5% from 2017 rates, but both Northern and Central Berkshire have higher levels of inventory than they did when the year ended last year. Southern Berkshire had a slight retraction, down to 466 single-family homes for sale at the end of the year. And you can see that's compared to 503 last year and 448 the year before. Some say that that retraction actually makes sense. It helped uh, flush out some homes in the market that had been there for a while. Countywide, that is a five-month absorption rate. Anything below seven months, and that's how many uh, months it would take to sell or exhaust our entire stock of inventory really means it's a seller's market. Um, Southern Berkshire has about a 10 month absorption rate, so they're more into the buyer's side. They benefit the buyer, the buyer has more opportunity to choose. Um, in the rest of the market, the sellers um, in the popular price ranges are still being able to sell quickly and have many buyers who are interested in those sales. If we look at the total dollar volume sold, $388 million, a huge, huge impact to our local economy, up 3% from 2017, a 25% increase in Northern Berkshire, a 16% increase in Central Berkshire, and a slight decrease of 13% in Southern Berkshire. And that's reflected in the lower number of sales as well. We're running $210,000 as a median sale price. And in Northern Berkshire, that represents $155,000 median about. Central Berkshire, 184. In Southern Berkshire is 322. Now, when we want to compare statewide, 419, we're still extremely affordable in the state. The national median, we're about middle of, and that is a perfect place to be, to have an affordable and diverse uh, housing stock. If we look at pending sales, we ended the year in 2018 on a high. We were up 10 more sales pending than the previous year. So that's a good sign going forward for 2019. Most of those pendings were listed between 150 and 250,000, which is our obviously our hottest selling market. And the days on average that it takes a home to sell from listing with a realtor to closing and uh, transferring title has retracted about 27 days countywide. Central Berkshire is still uh, selling the quickest at 151 days. Northern Berkshire a little bit longer at 191 days. And then Southern Berkshire at 248. And those a lot of times correlate also with the amount of inventory um, for sure. Now multifamily sales. Down overall, and I hate to see this big downward arrow because South County sales were actually very strong, which was a nice part for their market. Um, but Central and North, where we really have most of our multifamily housing stock, did stall. Down 8% countywide, uh, 162 multifamily uh, units sold. That's a 3% decrease in volume. We were off about a half a million dollars. And then it was a 6% increase on average, uh, now averaging at $123,000. And you can actually see Southern Berkshire's interest uh, in, in this figure. Southern uh, Berkshire sales uh, at a little bit of a higher rate than you typically see in Northern Berkshire. So that's why it's boosting that average sale rate. Multifamily, hugely affordable still. Um, and we hope that people continue to purchase, rehab, and use them for uh, housing. It's an important part of our market. Condo sales, again, is another important part. They were strong for 2018, uh, up 13%. We had 148 units transacted countywide. That's a 64% uh, uh, jump in volume, which is huge. $55 million transacted compared to only 53, uh, $33 million last year. 
and our averages are climbing up for condo sales and this is due to some great condo developments that are happening in Southern Berkshire up 45% in the average selling price of condos so very good news and a very good alternative to the single family market. Land sales have continued for the second year in a row to improve. We see a 6% increase in sales and volume is up 14%. We have transacted $16 million in raw land alone throughout the county, which is fantastic. Our median prices is continuing to climb. If you consider the height of our land market was about 200 parcels sold on average a year. So we're still off from that. So we do hope to see more development coming in, um, especially affordable, uh, you know, middle of the road, $150,000 to $300,000 housing uh, to make up for some of the demand. You'll see the days on market for land has gone down, and we laugh because it's gone down to one and a half years. We're not talking a five-month inventory on land, that's for sure. Um, this is actually remarkably better than the years previous, which uh, was sometimes two and three years of inventory for land. So it's a great market to consider. Overall, the future looks bright going into 2019. Um, the home ownership rate uh, is expected to hit six. Uh, 64% mortgage rates are kind of continuing to rise and have been um, and they're expecting a, a mortgage rate of 5.5% by year end if you actually consider we you know have gone up from 3.9% to 4.45% now we're at 5.5 they're uh, slow and steady growth in the rates but it does affect the uh, affordability of the buyers buying so a slight impact nothing uh, unmanageable Nationwide, they're expecting a 2% retraction, about a decrease of 2% in existing home sales going into 2019. Um, but they are expecting a huge burst in home starts, uh, new home building of 8%. We would only hope we can see that here, but we're um, not seeing it so far. But the land sales are good, so you never know. Um, we do have in our Market Watch report, which is shown over to the right, um, great county. Uh, highlights where you can see exactly how much was transacted, how they did compared to previous years, uh, where their hot markets are, and things like that, as well as a city by city or city by town uh, listing of sales historically so that you can kind of get a gauge for how the market is doing right in your area. We always say real estate is all about location, 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 and sales statistics is all about where you're located and what part of the market you're in. So we advise you to take a look at the uh, report, talk to your realtor, and thanks so much for watching our 2018 Real Estate Market Watch Report.